Hi, we're going to talk about the collision theory. This is one of my favorite favorite things, especially in Ray, one of my favorite things. Uh, the collision theory simply states that atoms, ions, and molecules must collide in order to react. And I know that it seems painfully obvious. If you're going to have a reaction, the two items have to touch each other. You have to have some sort of reaction, right? Um, and to make that happen, there's got to be a collision. Well, there are actually two really important things embedded in the idea of collisions. That when you have reactants come together, they hit, uh, bonds break, um, atoms rearrange, new bonds are formed to create products. Two things are needed. Here they are. Number one, you need proper orientation of the molecules. And number two, there has to be enough energy. Now, I'm going to use my little marker as an example. Um, so let's say that the reaction is going to be between, um, be between um, the tip of the marker, there you can see it, and the cap right there. Um, now you and I know this is how the marker and the cap attach, it's right there. Um, so I push it on, there it is. Well, using collision theory, you have to have these two reactants hit at the right spot, is proper orientation. So if these are flying in space and the cap hits here, no reaction, the cap hits here, no reaction. The cap hits here, no reaction. The cap hits here, the cap hits there, no reaction. It has to hit perfect right there. That is the same thing with reactants. Um, sometimes we get in our heads of, oh, you know, just kind of this willy nilly, we throw a bunch of stuff together and because they touch, they automatically react. Not true. They have to collide at the exact correct spot. That's significant. So you have to have proper orientation, number one. Number two, you need enough energy. And the term that we use is activation energy. You'll see this more. Um, look at my video on activation energy diagrams. Um, so when this comes together, I have to apply some force to put that cap on. That's the activation energy. It's the minimum energy required for the reaction to happen, for reactants to change to products. So when these hit, you know, if this is floating in space and it's kind of weak and it hits and doesn't have enough energy, just bounces off. It won't react. So not only do we have to have a collision with the proper orientation, hit at the exact right spots, but there has to be enough energy that when this is floating in space and they hit, it will react, it will react. So there needs to be enough energy, really good demonstration. And literally that's what happens with chemical reactions. Um, those reactants, they've got to hit at the proper orientation, the right spots, and they have to have enough energy to break bonds for, um, to break those bonds. They have to have enough energy to actually react like the cap going on. Um, so there you have it. Uh, even saying that you're like, wow, how does any reaction happen? Um, well, it's because there are trillions and trillions of the little particles. So statistically, you're going to have, you know, a chance that they'll hit with proper orientation and they'll have enough energy. Okay, there you have it, collision theory. You will use this to justify the factors that impact the rate of the reaction. So keep that in mind. These will have great application. Okay, have a nice day. Thanks so much.